it's Jody. I have a new process video for the Robin's Nest Creative Design Team and I am making Valentine's cards. I know the time has passed but in case you need some inspiration for other cards I am making first a shaker card. I did get a little bit of help from Milan Fawn. They have a super cute XOXO die and a jar, a mason jar type um, die that I use to make the shaker. Now this is one of the easiest ways I know how to do it and that is to cut a shape from the actual top layer of your card and then I'm just getting down some of the adhesive tape and adding a piece of um, this is transparency um, film or paper <laughs> I don't know what it's called <laughs> transparency paper um, and then I double up the adhesive foam the thin adhesive foam so I can make my well to put in the beautiful um, teardrops. I used the pink teardrops and the light blue teardrops. I think they both went very nice with the Love Notes collection from Simple Stories. I definitely want to use my anti-static um, tool just so things don't get sticky or stuck on the inside so my goodies could definitely give a good shake so I kind of pick out um, like I said I just wanted I think I just used teardrops maybe a couple of originals but yes I think I put in a good amount so it could have a nice heavy shake the colors coordinated perfectly I know that background might be a tiny bit busy oh excuse me <clears throat> But I think I just kind of loved it. Then I did sprinkle in some white sequins and some of that baby blue sequins. And I make sure it's all going to fit. And perfect. Let's see. There it goes. <laughs> so yes. Yeah, so I continue with some lawn fawn help. And I have cut... Um, the XOXO out of Vicky Booten Foundations paper because I knew I was going to get it inked and wet. I'm using Kitsch Flamingo and Saltwater Taffy, I believe. There is a just a subtle difference um, depending on how heavy your hand is. Um, but I just love using oxides. I love how they react with water. Uh, it's so simple but so fun to get um such a neat look right it feel it looks like it has dimension and texture when it's just the ink doing its thing oh, i place it there and add it a little wink eye heart for my second one i decide to go a little old school and I am just going to add the dew drops all the way around the inter um, paper of my base. So, um, so yes, so around that little pink ledger paper, I'm going to add my dew drops and a little bit of a pattern. Um, just to make it a little easier for me um, I also pop up the XOXO with a little bit of adhesive foam I actually made several um, of the shaker ones and um, I think they'll be fun to get to give out I don't know if I'll need to pay extra for the mail but I'll it's worth it and and we'll see I don't know it, it's not always extra but we will see it might be a little too thick as the teardrops are are a little chunky <laughs> but they give great great 
shine and sparkle so I'm gonna dump out um, the light blues and the pinks and then I think I also use some of that white sequence I have oh my goodness excuse me and yeah that's all I do I put a white a light blue a light blue sequence and then a pink dew drop and I follow that pattern all the way around um, I tried my best to keep the spacing even you could definitely use a ruler but that is just not my thing so I just finished going around and I love how it all turns out in the end I'm going to see if my video had a little bit of a glitch earlier I'm not sure if I took care of it but like I said I go all the way around in that same little pattern and I think I may add a little heart at the very end let's check I'm not sure anyway thank you so much for being here I hope you got a little inspiration please visit the shop for all the dew drops here's some final pictures I hope you're well take care thank you so very much bye bye now